In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Topaz Photo AI in a standalone workflow with non-raw images. So in this case here, I have three different JPEGs, but if you're using a TIFF, for example, or any other supported file format that isn't a raw, this video is for you. So the first thing that you'll want to do is launch Topaz Photo AI, which you can see I have launched here. And there are three ways that you can get uh, your images into the application. The first is by going to file and then open. The second is by clicking on the browse images button, which will open up a file explorer. And the third is to take the image from wherever it is on your computer and drag it on to the application. Once the image is loaded, the first thing I always do is review what autopilot has found. Autopilot really is a hallmark feature of Topaz Photo AI because this is where we will show you exactly what we've identified in terms of the subject, which you can see if you hover over the word subject, a mask that we will automatically apply will show as well as any issues that Autopilot has detected. And in this case here, if I zoom in, you'll see that we have detected severe amounts of luminance noise. Now, of course, you are free to make any changes to what Autopilot has recommended. You can disable any of the filters or you can enable them. So for example, if I want to enable sharpening, I can enable it, I can adjust the overall strength, and then I can also choose to apply sharpening only to the detected subject, which is a really nice feature. That way sharpening is only being applied to the subject and not to the rest of the image. Of course, if you want to return back to the autopilot settings, just click on this button right here and that will bring you back. Now that we're done, all you have to do is click on the blue save image button and you will have a new screen appear. In the queue, you'll see your image as well as some information about it, like the file format and the resolution. If you were to upscale the photo, you would also see the output resolution there as well. On the right, under export settings, you have a few options. The first is the prefix. Here, if you put something in, um, this will apply to the beginning of the file name. So you can now see that the file name begins with my underscore photo. The suffix is the same thing, except for it will apply to the end of the photo. And then if you want, you can enable the switch, which will apply the filters to the file name. So in this case, we only have the denoise model applied. So that's why we have denoise. But if we also had sharpening applied, it would say sharpen as well. Next, you can choose where to save your file. So in this case, by default, you might have original photo, which will save it to wherever the location of the source image is located. In my case, it was the desktop. Of course, you can specify any other folder on your computer to save your image. And then finally, you have a format. By default, we'll preserve the input format. So in this case, we sent a JPEG, so we would save a JPEG, but you also have other options such as PNG, TIFF, and DNG. Now that you're done, just click save and that will output the file back to the desktop. On the desktop, you'll see that is the original photo right here. And then we also have the output photo right here as well. Now let's say you wanna work with multiple photos in a batch workflow. You can do that as well. All you need to do is select the images that you wanna work with. And in this case here, I have these two JPEGs. I'll take them and just like before, I'm gonna drag them onto Topaz Photo AI. This time along the bottom, you will see an image film strip and it'll show you all of the images that are open concurrently. So you have the first image on the left, the second image on the right, and you'll see just like before, Autopilot will identify unique attributes and issues for each of the photos. Here, if I hover over, you can see that we've identified the subject and applied a mask to it. Again, if we want, we can go ahead and apply sharpening. We can adjust the strength and we can specify that sharpening only applies to the subject only. And just like before, if you want to return back to the autopilot settings, just click on this button right here. And then if you want to review your other photo, just click on it from the film strip. When you're happy with the results and you're ready to move on, click on the save to images button. And just like before, you will be presented with the same options. You'll see your queue with both photos on the left and then the options under export settings to adjust the prefix, suffix, as well as the ability to add the filters to the file name, where to save it and which file format you wanna save it to. When you're done, just click save and you'll see on your desktop, you have your two original photos with the two photos saved from Photo AI. To learn more about Topaz Photo AI, head over to topazlabs.com. Thanks a lot.